but... there's so much in this, and I did uh, that show on JK Live over a year ago now when I spoke to Ghislaine Maxwell in prison in that federal corrective centre. Um, just, just as an overview, I remember when he settled, and I put this to, to Rupert Bell last time, I'd love your take on this. When he settled for 12 million, we were told platinum jubilee, your mother's health, blah, blah, blah. Not sure where you got the money from, selling the shallow, your mother gave you a few quid. Anybody with a brain cell would have gone, you don't pay 12 million quid unless you've got something to hide. Personally, I think he's beyond repair and done, and I think he is an embarrassment. I'd exile him. But here's the thing. There are 177 names of possibly, it could be anybody, kings, kings, I don't know, I mean, anybody from any walk of life. But this never goes away. He has to be incredibly naive, does he not, to pay somebody and then think it's going to go away. This is going to rumble on and on. What do you think he should do, Tom Bauer? Well, I think he should disappear. I think the real problem has been that his uh, brother, the king, has been far too lenient with him. Uh, and that uh, it's not just now this sex case, but also today's report that he took some money from very colourful Turks who, uh, on the whole, um, gave him nearly three quarters of a million pounds for being nice to them. The problem with Andrew is he is a sleaze merchant. He is so unbelievably stained, not only by sex, sleaze, rudeness, and sheer stupidity, that the best would be for the royal family, they could persuade him to disappear. But that's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Because Andrew's always denied the allegations against him. And, and he has felt that he should be able to make a comeback. Why pay now... the money, then? That's what I don't care. <laughs> Why would you pay money if you're innocent? Why would you not fight in every court in the land with respect and clear your name? Why would you pay 12 million? Well, as a point for uh, Tom, do, would, do you think Andrew wanted to go all the way with this in terms of going through the court process? Do you think that he came under pressure because it was his mother's platinum jubilee? Uh, but it would have been deeply, deeply embarrassing for the royal family wouldn't it, if this had gone through courts and even more had emerged than we've already had? Well, not only would it be embarrassing, but he would have lost because his uh, explanation, his relationship with the woman was absolutely fanciful and ridiculous. And uh, he was crazy ever to give the interview to Emily Maitlis. And he would be even crazier to have gone into the witness box. He just ha hoped he could silence everything. But of course you can't because he is guilty on so many levels. And that is the great problem for the royal family. He is a permanent uh, time bomb because after this case, there'll be another one for sure. Um, Tom, um, my old man used to work for the royal family. They'll all be laughing in the gallery. But he always said to me that, that, that uh, Andrew was the chosen one for reasons I'm not going to talk about on a television station, that he was always, you know, accepted and his shortcomings by his mother. Um, for me, it's really interesting about what Sarah said about King Charles and what you said. Is it out of brotherly love that he won't exile him, for want of a better phrase? Is it, as some people have suggested, that Andrew uh, might well have some dirt on our very own king and, in fact, the royal family? And Charles's reluctance to face it or do something, throw him out of Royal Lodge, whatever, is for fear that more could come out. Whatever the answer is, it's a mess, mate, isn't it? Absolutely, I agree with you. Of course, there's a lot that could come out, and that's exactly what King Charles fears, not only from Prince Andrew, but clearly from the Sussexes too. They all know things which we don't know, which would be absolute dynamite and undermine our faith in the monarchy. And he's all the time, King Charles, is buying time and buying peace. Uh, that is the problem. After all these years, there's a lot of dirt which we haven't seen under the carpet. And I think, though, whether or not uh, the King might want to take a, a softer hand with his brother when it comes to family uh, matters and not kick him out of the family. Actually, we see in Prince William a much stronger hand in terms of oh, I don't think Andrew gonna, being stripped I, of his I think titles when, when and William's not king, being able I don't to think make you any will comeback. see or hear of, of the Duke of York, do you? No. 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 I mean, I, I don't think we'll see or hear of him in any way in the future, no matter what he might think, uh, Tom. I, I think that is game over. Uh, in terms of public well, we, life well, for Andrew. We, we, we always think it's game over, but he has an absolute desire to pop up and be in the spotlight. That's the problem. He just isn't prepared to go quietly and just, just enjoy a private life. He really doesn't believe that he should be a scapegoat. He believes he's been victimised. It is absolutely astonishing. And unfortunately, the king isn't strong enough to tell him that it's, the game is really finally absolutely over. Well, that he's a permanent embarrassment. Will we see and him walking to church with the family yeah, on Christmas point. Day, Tom? Good point. My feeling is we will. 
Really? We did last that's year. That's my guess. Then, then that, to me, as much as paying £12 million and, and pretending that people are going to think you just want to get it done rather than you're guilty, that again well, smacks, and I'm, I'm a fan of King Charles, but he needs to do something about it. Well, he draws a line gonna... between public life and family life, and that's a family What occasion. if the family uh, life... There's, bring... a very, there's a very ugly world called black, emotional blackmail, and I think that's what it boils down to, unfortunately. The old man told me that Prince Andrew is the most entitled person he's ever met in his life. Which I think well, is... he is, and he was utterly spoilt. And he got away with it uh, by being unbelievably rude to people as he travelled across the world as the trade envoy. Uh, reports came back from everywhere. What is really fascinating is, though, that all those reports about Andrew's misconduct when he was the trade envoy have been either destroyed or secreted away for hundreds of years. No it's doubt, nearly no. impossible now. Well, no doubt, no, no doubt, like the, these latest accusations, they will raise their ugly head.